What is up, everybody? Welcome to Hack My Lineup. It is me, Hussein the Brain, aka Fantasy Couch, aka Mr. Couch, aka The Beard, aka Elite Hacker. Waiting for people to join. We'll get it started soon. Little, wow, a little clear up the whoo, nasals. Yeah, it feels great. When you guys bought one of these, you got that good flavor too. I love these a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was great. And a little bit of orange juice. That's It's not orange juice. It's Gatorade Zero. Oh, yeah, baby. A little bit more. With just a little bit of water in there. Oh, that is amazing. That's good. What else? What else we need? What else we need to start hacking? That's right. Oh, yeah, baby. My hater blockers. I got those on. Okay. Red light. Beard. Evil hoodie. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. We are ready to hack, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future live streams like this. On this show, we like to hack lineups. People give me their logins. I hack into their fantasy accounts and do as I please. Jason hopped in here before we even started with the 1999 dono. I got you. Thank you so much, Jason. And you will get hacked. Let me know if you sent your email and let me know the subject line in the email so I don't get you mixed up with other various hackers. Jason in the building. What's up, Val? We got Val in the building. Val is deep in the playoffs. Good to see. Uh, Facebook user is here. Not sure who this person is. Frem? Good evening, my friend. Good evening. Kenny, what's up, man? King Jim, yo, thanks again for your time. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Oh, we already got... Oh, we got two people lapping each other right away. So I got a PayPal from Raul. $20 PayPal. Raul. Awesome that you've made it to the second round of the playoffs, my friend. Amazing. And we have, oh, what's up, bro? CC in the building with a $21 dono. Slapping them. It's right there. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, so it's Hussein the Brain. Uh, it's it's written twice. It's written. I can't even say it. It is on the screen in two different places, my friend. Uh-oh. All right. We got somebody trying to lap another person. All right. So that's going to be uh, $25. That's $24.98. I'm getting more notifications on my phone. Raul with the 10. Okay. Easy math. Okay. Wait, Cece, are you trying to get hacked or you just want to sh shout out? Uh, Ruby and Baylor. Big shout out to those two viewers out there, Ruby and Baylor. Huge shout out to both you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You got the whole gang, the whole family watching. Shout out to the whole family. Oh, I see it. Okay, I know who I know who uh, mystery Facebook user is now. That's you, Raul, for sure. I did. It's hack me. This guy said quick. He wants to sneak in quick. Well, look, it's a it's a very short question, so 
Uh, Aaron Rodgers or Geno Smith? We're going to go with Geno Smith here going against the Chiefs. We know that Geno Smith is what QB six right now in fantasy. That's good. Rodgers overall been disappointing this year and he's going to have to throw against the Chiefs. I like Geno Smith. We trust Geno Smith. And on top of that, he has pretty much the best matchup. Oh, it's all good. Pacheco or Dobbins? I think we're going to go with J.K. Dobbins here. Yeah, let's go J.K. Dobbins. Good game script. J.K. Dobbins hitting that 100, 100 rushing yard marker. Pacheco, we love him. Great matchup, but uh, it's just he's really not. When have you ever started Pacheco and loved it? When has that happened? Once this year? I mean, like, literally, like, in real life. Like, you actually started him, and you actually liked the outcome. It's only happened once, right? Because I'm sure you started him a couple times, and you didn't like the outcome. So, Dobbins has been doing us good. I like Dobbins. Yeah, weather weather is going to actually matter this week. It hasn't mattered that much. We've seen it matter maybe two two times this year really, two maybe three. Like really matter though. That was week 1 Niners Bears game and then there was a was there a snowstorm or something? So it's real, really only matter like twice. This week it's going to matter a lot. We're going to we have less than ideal weather conditions Thursday night football. Let's bring this up here. Less than ideal weather conditions for Thursday. Rain, 15 mile an hour winds, not good. Um pretty bad weather conditions for the Bills Bears game. It's going to be cold. It's going to be very windy in the Windy City. Then another sa early Saturday game, Saints-Browns, slated to be the lowest scoring game, I think, all season or, or a bottom three. Very low scoring game. Definitely the lowest scoring game of the week, according to Vegas. Uh, it's going to be very windy. It's going to be very cold. And there's going to probably be some snow. Maybe it snows before the game starts or early on and then it stops. It's hard to tell, but that day is going to probably have some snow. It's definitely going to be windy and it's definitely going to be cold as hell. And it's slated to be very low scoring. That's why I'm looking at all these domes, man. I like kickers and domes and um, just looking at that. Dak or Fields? I think we're going to go with Fields. I mean, Fields, he's not even going to throw the ball. <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, we're not, we're not picking Fields because of the passing anyways. So, um, yeah, I'm going Fields, but it's really close. Fields over Dak. I think it's really close between Burrow, Fields, and Dak. But that's the order I have it. Number one, Burrow. Number two, uh, fields number three, Dak. All right, let me check my email. So, did CC want to get hacked? Charger Radon Charcherius. Yeah, that's why I don't say it. Like, just listening to my voice uh, and how I, yeah. I do have an email from 
Jim Kane, and he says it's saying he is out for the season. And I don't know who he is. So, yeah, I love it when, when people do that. I don't know who he is. I saw you in the chat, so I know I know you're listening. Jim Kane. Um, do all three people want to get hacked? Yeah, seems like it. Okay, I got an email from Jason. I got an email from CC, and I know Raul wants to get hacked. Jim King sent you fifty dollars. Whoa! Dang, that's crazy. Thank you, dude. Fifty dollar dono. Oh, that's you here. Wow. Well, I did not expect that. This is real. $50 donation from Jim Kane. Thank you, man. What's it? Structures Kane Jim. That's you right here. Wow. Unbelievable. I got that cash app. Thank you. Uh, healing meditation. Thank you so much for the super chat. Don't know my friend McKinnon Pacheco Mostert. If Wilson is out, I think the answer just to keep it simple. I think we got to keep it simple. I think we got to just start McKinnon. Yeah, we just got to start McKinnon. It's it's been working for the Chiefs. He's been on fire. He's gonna get at least fifty percent of the work. Um. So the floor is not too bad. He's been literally the best running back in fantasy football the last two weeks. You know, Mostert is great, but what's what's Mostert's uh, ceiling? Let like twenty two to twenty three fantasy points. That's Mostert's ceiling. We already know McKinnon ceiling, 30 fantasy points. That's a big difference. Seven, eight points. Eight points different is the is the upside. Uh suppose Mostert has a slightly higher floor. Slightly. So on the floor end, we're only getting one or two more fantasy points at most. So the floor is basically the same. Uh, but we're getting a lot more upside. With McKinnon. So we're going McKinnon. Um, did, did you want me to hack your lineup? So I'll email you. But you did say it's saying he is out for the season. I did get an email from you 13 minutes ago. I don't know who he is. But uh, again, thanks for the $50 donation though. All right, so Raul is first up. We will hack him. Let me te let me text my let me text my buddies. I want I want them to see this this hack transition transition. I'm live right now and about to play the transition video. If you guys want to see little group chat I am reading this live as I'm typing this text all right so I want I want my I want my friends to see that transition you know I'm gonna put my headphones on all right. I want to get the full effect of this. All right. All 
All right, so we are going to hack Raul right now. All right, guys, are we ready for the first hack of the night? Are we ready, baby? Are we ready to hack this? All right, we need a countdown. We need a let's do a countdown. I know you guys are on lag, but you guys can count down whenever whenever it hits you at home. Or on the streets, wherever you're at. All right, here we go. First hack of the night. We're hacking Raul. He's in the second round of the playoffs. He's on sleeper. Are you guys ready for some hack action? All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hack my lineup. You ever done anything dangerous? That is dangerous. All right, we are hacked. We've hacked Raul successfully. We're in here. Here is his. It's the other league. Here is his lineup. All right. Make sure this is the right league. Okay. Yep. All right. So first thing first, I want to do, uh, like I always say, um, just like in life in general, not just in fantasy, I always do the quick and, and easy things first. If there's a task ahead that's going to take five minutes or 15 seconds, just do it. Just get it done. Just get it over with. Because uh, that's usually <laughs> you're usually taking a long time to ponder what to do and this and that. Get the easy stuff out the way. So the fastest and easiest thing is always to look at our opponent, what's right in front of us. Okay, so let's focus on our opponent right here. He's got Josh Allen, great QB. I don't care about the weather that much. He's just such a talented runner. He's a tough, really good runner. And that's why a lot of us rank Josh Allen uh, number one uh in our fantasy rankings he's got jarek mckinnon just going off the last two weeks there's no running back with more upside than him uh, it's just been working he's been great josh jacobs been one of the best fantasy draft picks uh in terms of value uh huge stud what is he ranked in this league oh my god rb number two Okay, RB2 and PPR, RB1 and non-PPR. My God. Uh, Juju, he's been okay. Judy's been good as a late. Nothing special. Dawson Knox, kind of fuego as a late. And I kind of like this matchup because I think it's going to be a lot of short passes. Come on, I clicked the wrong thing. All right, and then we got Aaron Jones little i don't know kind of risky but this could be a sneakily high scoring game dolphins uh dolphins um packers aaron jones good justin tucker's the goat raiders not a great defense uh this week you can get lucky with them so if you're just you know starting the raiders d because you have to or because you're a stupid raider fan um, you could get lucky. They've actually been doing really well the last three games, 12, 8, and 10 fantasy points. Um, so I remember helping you out. Was it yesterday? Yesterday or yeah, yesterday. And I was saying, let's hoard some defenses. And I think it's been working out pretty well. He's rolling with the Raiders D. And we have the Bucks and Browns D, which is just incredible. And one thing we can do is drop the Browns D um, like Friday, Friday or Saturday, whenever you can to, we can still block your opponent from getting them, which is what's awesome. Just make sure you know, you know, your league better than me. So make sure 
when and if you drop them, make sure your opponent can't get them because we definitely don't want your opponent starting the Browns D instead of the Raiders. We'd rather have him start the Raiders D. That's going to give us two fantasy points. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can still do it. I, I think, I think we just have to keep the defense for like two days or something. And then when we drop them, there's going to probably be a two day waiver period. Just regardless, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like, I just can't put a straight time, uh, like exact time to do it. Cause every league is different, but what you're going to do is drop this defense. So your opponent cannot get them. And if you do that Friday, that should be good enough. You could also do it during the game too. You can, if you can drop a bench player, you can drop them after the Browns play. That's fine. So just so you know, you you can drop them and do it so your opponent doesn't have a chance to get them. I don't think we care about them. Week se week seventeen, they face Washington. Uh, th that's good, but I don't care for them. Week seventeen, I'd rather start the Bucks going against the Panthers or the Cowboys, whoever they play. Uh, Titans. Yeah, I don't care for the Browns. The week seventeen. So we're planning on. We're going to probably drop the Browns D regardless. Um, if Tannehill is out, we're benching Traylon Burks. Um, yeah, I did kind of want to assess the opponent's team, but I guess, I mean, we kind of, it's pretty obvious. So he's got some great players. He kind of lacks wide receiver and defense. Uh, other than that, he's got some serious studs. I really like his team. He's got a great team. It's going to be a slightly uphill battle for us here. And he's we have only a 44% chance to win. Okay. Um yeah, everything's looking good. And let's see the waivers here. Okay. There's no quarterback that's going to save our lives. Chuba Hubbard, Deion Jackson. Somebody dropped Deion Jackson? Okay. Might want to pick him up. Um, Khalil Herbert, okay. May want to pick up Deion Jackson. Okay, Marquise Goodwin is available. Like, I'm all over that. We have to add him ASAP. And Cameron Dicker, he was projected to get zero points. I guess they changed it. Okay. Let's keep tabs on if Dustin Hopkins is going to play. We have to add Marquise Goodwin. I really don't want to drop Debo. I feel like that's a dumb move. We could drop Damian Harris. Yeah. Probably will. We have to add Goodwin right now. Maybe someone in your league is watching this. <laughs> we got to add him. Yeah, I think we're gonna add, we're gonna drop Damian Harris. If Ken, what well, what do we? If Ken Walker doesn't play, we start. James Cook. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to take a risk. Remember what I told you was like, this is like a drag race. We don't care if the engine blows up at the end of the race. We just want to win. If we win, we're going to the next round, which is the Super Bowl. That's literally all we care about. So I'm going to make another risky move here. I mean, there's some running backs available. Like there's Chuba Hubbard right now as a free agent. Deion Jackson, we're more than likely able to add him. Simaji P. Ryan's an excellent handcuff for us. We got Mixon. Khalil Herbert's a good add. Jalen Warren's a good add. Um, Joshua Kelly is, eh, he's okay. Gus Edwards, he's, uh, he's not great. But I just named off like five, six guys. Uh, yeah, so there's like, I'm, I'm very confident there will be a running back. Yeah. And like I said, we, we have James Cook. And he plays Saturday at the same time as Ken Walker. And we're not starting Damian Harris. And you know what? We're probably not starting Damian Harris week 17 if Ramondre is healthy. So 
Like, look, I like Damian Harris, but I'd rather just hoard defenses. Um, I mean, he could go with that. He can roll with the Titans D. I don't care. I'm not giving this guy the Browns D. I'm not doing that. All right, so we have to add Goodwin ASAP. I love him. He's a must start. Let's drop Damian Harris. A little bit of a risky move. Austin Perez. I would start DJ Moore and bench Zay Jones. And let's go ahead and start Goodwin. Okay. And everything is good to go. And like I said, plan on dropping the Browns D just so that your opponent doesn't get him. You can drop the Browns D for the Titans D. Matter of fact, I would probably do that. That way this guy cannot get a top five defense. I I don't know if Chubb's playing. All I know is that he has an injury. He didn't practice today. And he's been garbage the last three weeks. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to play or not. Um, tomorrow will be a huge sign if he's going to play tomorrow's practice and Friday's practice. We're just going to have to wait and see. Honestly, don't have an opinion. It could be more of a rest day. Um, it's not looking. It's not looking great, though. I would be a little bit worried. This is an interesting question, and I think we're going to – you're definitely definitely benching every Titans receiver if Tannehill is out. So I'm just going to say Greg Dulcich. Start Dulcich. Yeah, I'm going to say Dulcich. Uh, Browns D over the Jags D easily. Not even close on my rankings. Rodgers or Brady? Oh, finally, we got an interesting question. I like this question. It's tough. It's difficult. It's going to be a slight edge to Rodgers. It's very close, and we got to go with Rodgers because of the game script because that could be a little bit more of a shootout. Let me bring up some visual aids. Let me see. Where's that game at? Here it is. Okay. So we're looking at Wow, uh, I actually don't remember it being this high scoring. 49 and a half points over under close game. Wow. So the game script and the shootout potential is there. Now we look at the Trace McSorley game, and I'm sorry, Bucks defense, too good. Trace McSorley, the Cardinals QB3, not good. Also, the Bucs have two running backs. They're going to use Rashad White and Fournette heavily. And I don't think Brady's going to need to throw the ball too much in the fourth quarter. So although it's it's not, and, and uh, you know, I always talk about these same strategies, right? Okay, game script, and this team's playing from behind, so they're going to throw the ball more. This is a shootout, and the wind, and this. Remember, that's more advanced stats. And those, and I often go to that because you off, guys often ask hard questions. Remember, a lot of this is basic stuff. Start the player that's good. Start the player that's going to get more fantasy points. It's basic common sense strategy. But when I get difficult questions, when it's really close, when you're asking a question between like QB 11 and QB 12, tight end 11 and tight end 12, that's when you dive deep into the deeper stuff. Okay, what does Vegas have the game line at? What's the game script? As in, like, is it going to be a blowout? Like, who's going to be playing from behind? Is the game going to be close? Does this team pass a lot? You know, who's their supporting cast? What's the injuries? Uh, what's the wind? What's the weather like? So on and so forth, okay? There's a lot of things you want to think about. 
Um, but you always start off with the basic. Is this player good? Is this player better than the other player? Who's going to score the most fantasy points? Then you look at more basic stuff. Who's the matchup? Has this player been hot? You know, who are his teammates? Who's the quarterback throwing to him? And then you look at the more advanced stuff that I always talk about. Chris C., thank you so much for the super chat. Don't know, my friend. Mike Evans or Donovan Peoples-Jones. We're going to go with Mike Evans here because of the weather. Uh, it would be super close, and I might go with Mike Evans even if the weather was the same, to be honest. Uh, but with the weather, it's not even close. Okay, so we got the weather up here. We're looking at 28 mile an hour winds, probable snow uh, versus the Bucks game uh, in a dome in Arizona. So no brainer here on a team that throws a lot. We're going with uh mike evans did you want me to hack you i think i don't know if you need to ask questions if i'm hacking you uh, but you can ask questions too i'm just saying if i'm not you know if i'm hacking the that team i don't know if we need all that ingram or schultz all right we're gonna hack the next guy after this Evan Ingram. Oh, yeah, we're going Dalton Schultz. These two teams are going to be playing so hard. I love it. Um, Ingram's a good start, don't get me wrong, but I'm not, like, super high on him this week. So I'm going to go with Dalton Schultz. I, I really think, you know, I feel like Noah Brown just screwed up everything. I If the Cowboys didn't throw to Noah Brown so much, they would have won the game. Uh, look, Dak played well in fantasy. I told a lot of people to start him. I, uh, you know, I was great. It was, it was great advice, but he, I don't know, man. It was a weird Cowboys. Was it, wasn't it Cowboys Jags last week? That was the last game, right? Hopefully I remember, right? I don't want, I just don't want to speak. Up. Yeah. It was a weird game. And although Dak didn't play bad or anything, like, um, and I'm really not trying to be biased. Like I'm, I have Dalton Schultz and I'm waiting for him to throw to Dalton Schultz. I mean, we still won. Don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like hyper targeting Noah Brown was kind of dumb. He didn't need to do that. And it costed them the game. Yeah, and it was it was off I think it was off Noah Brown's hands. And it was just weird. Like why is Noah Brown getting tar it was just a weird game. Maybe that was the game plan was just kind of like look, Noah Brown's always gonna get the bad matchup. Whenever you could get the the worst Jaguars corner on your best receiver. You're going to go to him. So that was, I think that was like Curtis Samuel the first week. I think Curtis Samuel went off. Uh, man, I don't, I don't know, but I, I remember Gallup sucked, right? Gallup's just been horrible the last two weeks. Gallup. Uh, oh my God. Look at this Gallup dude. 1.2 fantasy points and then six. Yeah. That could have been it. Yeah. That could have been it if Gallup dropped and just like, dude, I'm not going to you. I mean, that could have been it. Yeah. Which is more of a more of a realistic theory. Like Gallup, you suck. I'm not throwing to you. You're not invited to my club. Get out of here. You're not invited to my treehouse. Yeah. I mean, that's probably what it was or both yeah still i think if you went to dalton schultz and maybe spread maybe went to other players just anybody other than noah brown every play uh you guys would have won the game aaron Rodgers or trevor lawrence go with aaron Rodgers. all right let us hack the next guy 
Raul, hopefully you're satisfied with that hack there, buddy. And I appreciate you constantly supporting. You're the GOAT. Uh, Jason, are you here? Oh, yeah, the, the guy who was wanted a hack early on. Let me see. We do have Jason's email. He says he's in a 10-team full PPR on ESPN. League name, Survival of the Fittest. Team name, Sir Cali. Um... Password is fantasy couch is the goat, and then the number one exclamation point, all lowercase. Oh, that's a great! I love that password. All right, let's hack this. You guys ready? Jason, are you there? Are we ready? Oh, he's here. He's ready. All right, Raul said very satisfied with his with his uh with his hack. All right, guys, five. Four, three, two, one. You ever done anything dangerous? That is dangerous. Right, guys, we have successfully hacked Jason. Oh, a lot of a lot of stupid ads. Let's get rid of those. All right, here we go. It is a 10 team PPR, and he wants to win this week. Full PPR. What is that like when you're feeding a baby? What are you talking about? <laughs> Trying to downplay my hacking skills. All right, guys. Waiver order nine out of ten. All right. We got I'm probably not gonna mess with IDP. You already know that. I don't know too much about that stuff. Okay, we have we actually have a quarterback battle here. All right, and we have one IR spot open. Okay, all right. So we got Kirk Cousins versus Geno Smith. That's really close. I think we're going to have to go with Kirk Cousins. Let's take one quick look at the weather. I think we're going Kirk Cousins with this, guys. All right, Vikings are in a dome. That's a huge plus. Seahawks weather is is pretty good compared to the weather, but 13 mile an hour wind, something you want, you know, it's cold with a little bit of wind away. Um, I prefer a home team when it comes to throwing the ball. Okay. Uh, these are all small little things, small, very, very small things. Home teams tend to throw the ball 2% more, more pass attempts. Uh, like I said, there's a dome. Okay. And let's look at the over-under. All right, we got... Um, Forty-eight. That's much higher than I thought. And then we have 49 here. Now, that's actually very close. And on top of that, the Seahawks are going to need to throw the ball. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Kirk Cousins. I'll go Cousins. It's it's very close. I mean, I like both. I think the, the main factor is actually going to be this guy is throwing to Justin Jefferson. And the other guy doesn't have Lockett. I think Justin Jefferson, probably the best wide receiver in the whole league. I think that's going to do it for us. I think we'll go Kirk Cousins. Super close, though. All right, that was a tough one. You got the Titans D. That's top five. That's incredible. 
Bengals D, we can probably drop them unless our opponent needs them. We're not starting them week 17 against Buffalo. Um, do you have a week 18, Jason? Let me know. Uh, week 18 against Ravens, that's a good matchup probably, but we can probably drop the Bengals D. They're just okay this week. They'll probably sneak in my top 10, maybe top 12, and that's about it. So we don't really need them. It says no, no week. Okay, so we can drop the Bengals D. And this is a 10-team league. I don't think anybody is desperate for the Bengals D. Your opponent is starting the... Niners D, he doesn't need them. Okay, so we can drop Bengals D. All right, we can drop Bengals D. We got an IR spot open. Uh, we like who's who do we like on the bench? Goodwin. And that's it. I think I gotta hit. I guess I was supposed to hit. Huh. This ESPN's glitching, I think. Okay, it's it's loading up the old. Okay, I know what happened. It's it's cash. It's loading the old cash. Okay, so Kirk Cousins is starting. So the only player we like on the bench is Goodwin. Thielen is not bad, uh, but I don't. Hopefully, we don't have to start him. Um, Brian Robinson. Um, that's that's going to be a no, and Dante Foreman's going to be a no uh, for me. Okay. Screenshot of my lineup on Instagram, $2. All right. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I can bring I can bring that up. I can bring up my DMs on the screen too, so we don't even have to. Is your name Michael? 21 minutes ago? No, that's not him. I don't see one. Oh, you got to DM me still. All right. DM me, uh, CC, DM me on Instagram then, and then let me know. Um, what, do you, what are you talking? I don't even know what you're talking about. Didn't you email me, bro? I don't know what he's talking about. I got your email from, from uh, Zach. Yeah, I got your email. Okay. Well, I'm slight, slightly distracted there. Since it's full PPR... Uh, I don't want to start these guys. So let's start Thielen and let's start Goodwin. James Cook is fine. All right. Let's shuffle these guys around really quick. Saturday, Saturday. Okay. There we go. We want to start the players playing later at the flex spot. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're probably going to drop the Bengals D. Who's your tight end? Oh, we don't start a tight end in this league. Okay. I actually don't think I ever hacked one of these, or I rarely do. I hear about these all the time where you don't have to start a tight end. That's crazy. All right. So in this league, you're only starting the super elite tight ends. All right. There's no running backs I want. Damian Harris is an okay stash. Kareem Hunt, actually, if Chubb is out, that would be amazing. So we may put in a claim for Kareem Hunt. All right. 
this league is why is the scoring all weird, bud? Does it do you get points for returns? The scoring's all weird, but I'm going with the scoring. I must get points for return yards or something. And then who was your kicker? Uh, Tyler Bass. Okay. Defense. All right. Could add Mike White to I. We're going to hoard players on IR so we can add Mike White. We can add Trey Lance, PJ Walker. We can add Chase Edmonds. I think that's the best one, Chase Edmonds. Okay, Cook, thank you so much for the Super Chat donation. Merry Christmas, Fantasy Couch. You the man. Thank you so much, my friend. Merry Christmas to you as well. When is Christmas? Four days from now. That's close. This close. It's getting close. No wide receivers. All right, I got it. We are going to add. Chase Edmonds. We're going to drop Bengals D. We are going to move Chase Edmonds to IR, and we're going to drop Damian Pierce. Wait, how do we? Oh, you don't have to hit done. Thought we had to hit done. Oh, there it is. Done. Okay. All right. We're hoarding players. Um, we're going to drop Damian Pierce. And we're going to add. I think we're going to add a quarterback just for the heck of it. Not for any real reason. Mike White. Damian Pierce out for the year. Drop him. Wait, this isn't a dynasty league. Is, <laughs> is this a dynasty or keeper league? You better tell me right now, dude, before I hit this button. Is this a keeper dynasty league? Redraft. Oh, I feel so bad. Even if it's totally not my fault, like the person's got to tell me that, but I just, I would feel bad. <laughs> I would feel so bad if I did that. It just says 10 team full PPR. Okay, it doesn't say in the email. All right, I'm going to do it. I feel like you. this is three, two, one. All right, I felt like you needed to tell me if this was Keeper or Dynasty by now. And if it's Dynasty, shame on you for not playing on Sleeper. Come on. All right, we're going to do it. All 
All right, we're putting Mike White to IR. Beautiful. And we get to add one more player. This is how we do. Look at how many players we're hoarding. Oh, he did say redraft? I didn't even see it. Oh, it says right here. Oh, my God, right before I, I typed. I didn't see it. I can't. I'm not good at reading the chat. As you guys know by now, it's made a lot of people mad. I can't read all that stuff. Not while I'm doing stuff. I can't multitask with the chat. Yeah, I don't understand this scoring system at all. Okay, let's add this guy. I don't even know. I don't know why this guy scores a lot of points, Brandon Powell, but uh, he does. And we will put in a claim for Kareem Hunt because that is the most upside we will get, period. Let me see if there's any tight ends that are amazing. Flex would do it. Friar Muth. Oh, baby. Friar Muth? Huh. Friar Muth. I mean, I'd rather have Friar Muth than Brandon Powell, right? How many points is Powell projected? Wait, Russell Gage sucks, actually. Yeah, we don't need him. Let's just drop him. Okay. All right. I, I don't understand these league settings, and I haven't been told how this works, so I'm just trying to do my best. Steven Sims is like the best player to add, and I don't know why. Maybe he returns. All right, so let's drop Russell Gage. He doesn't get any points. Uh, Yeah, I know that. That's because Trubisky started, and maybe Muth wasn't 100%. Still, uh, would you rather roster Russell Gage or Pat Fryer Muth? Uh, even though you don't have to start tight ends. I, I, I mean, Russell Gage in a 10-team league, rostering Russell Gage, it's a waste of roster space. All right, let's drop Russell Gage. I mean, man, this guy's getting his money's worth with this hack. I'm telling you. This has been some pretty neat stuff. Adam Thielen's uh, projected to get 15 and a half. Chris Godwin's projected at 12.6. It's pretty close between Fire Moot and, and Adam Thielen, to be honest. But anyway, I mean, we're just chipping at this one step at a time. And this is the final significant step would be adding Kareem Hunt because there is a chance that Nick Chubb is out. And it's going to be a lot of running backs. I wish you had a better waiver claim. I hope you didn't waste waiver claims on Russell Gage. Damn it. I know you did, actually. I already know. Because <laughs> why else would Russell Gage be on your team? I hope you didn't waste waiver claims on him. We need it for Kareem Hunt, man. We need that home run. This is what dreams are made of. All right. I guess we drop Brandon Powell. All right, we made some serious moves. We're hoarding an extra two players on IR. Okay, so we got Chase Edmonds. We got Mike White hoarding extra players. We dropped Damian Pierce. Uh, we got rid of Russell Gage. We got rid of a backup defense. We got Friar Muth. We got Brandon Powell for some reason. He's like the best guy on waivers. I don't know how that works in this league. Uh, we made a lot of roster moves. We're starting wide receivers. Um, and we put in a claim for Kareem Hunt. Now, what's good in a league like this is that typically about half the league is asleep. 
So we're in playoffs. So typically five to six players are totally asleep. And so we're really competing with four people on waivers. All right. Hopefully there's no uh, nothing sketchy in this league. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty uh, PG. Somebody's name Scumbags. That's about it. So uh, I wish we could see the waiver order. Okay. Day Day is 10. Please tell me he's one of the best teams. And he's still in it. No, he's not. All right. So you're unlikely going to get it. Uh, but, you know, we got what? Like, a, let's say we got a 20% chance. That's still, that's still good. I'll take that. So we got a 20% chance to get Kareem Hunt. I'll take that. And uh, the rest is looking good, man. I want to wish you good luck. Um, you got your money's worth with the hack, except for IDP. I don't know about IDP. Just start the best IDP players. Looks like you're going against a tough team. And Jason, I want to wish you good luck. Let's take a quick look at the matchup, actually. Oh, wow. It's looking like... This is saying you're going to get destroyed. My God. Um, wish you good luck, man. Saying that this guy's going to beat you at every single spot. <laughs> I, haven't, I have never seen this in the playoffs before. Wow. Uh, yeah, you have a defensive player that's going to outscore him by one. Other than that, oh, man. Oh, boy. You got it, man. You can do it. That's right. RIP Frank Harris. That was crazy. One day after the Immaculate Reception um, anniversary. Crazy stuff. No, he's better than like at least better than like actual receivers. It's the way the league the as you can as you can see the number, it's the way the league set up. All right. All right, we finished hacking Jason. And then we got CC. All right, let's answer a couple questions really quick. And then we will hack CC. That's right, he's in the building right here. I have Muth and Goddard in as well in a non PPR. I am going with Goddard. Now, if you care about my thoughts, what I think about this situation. I would go Friar Muth. I'd go Friar Muth. You gotta be bold, man. You gotta be bold like this. You gotta be bold like this. By the way, my DMs and comments just been blowing up this week. Uh, last week was a pretty good week. I'm telling you, man, I would start Friar Muth over Goddard. And I like Goddard this week. Don't get me wrong. It's just that Friar Muth is special. People are bringing up that he got zero fantasy points. That was with a totally different quarterback. These two quarterbacks are different. One guy throws to Dante Johnson and is, and is the team's backup. His name is Trubisky. Another guy throws to George Pickens and Friar Muth and is the starter. And his name is Kenny Pickett. And Kenny Pickett is playing this week. You get it? Got it? Good. There we go. Cheers. The Muth is loose. Do we have a Friar Muth drink? I was thinking of Friar Muth. I think we have a Friar Muth drink someplace. Maybe not. I had a I had a the Friar Muth cocktail. Let's 
Ooh, this one here. This could work. Oh, this looks like a this looks like a Friar Most Dream. Dude, this one here. Oh my god, what is it's just it's just beer. But look at this. This is a Friar Moth beer right here. Sure. I don't know. It just it just really looks like that. Oh, here's another one. Here's a here's a more uh a sweet one. Here's one a sweet one. Now where's the No, that's it. That's I'm not gonna show these other ones. That is the drink, dude. That is so the drink. That is the fryer mouth drink, even though it's beer. That's the fryer mouth drink. We're gonna be drinking that this week. What's up, E one one one? DPJ Goodwin Swift Andrews pick two non PPR. So number one, we're gonna go Marquise Goodwin. Um, and then we're probably gonna go with Swift. I don't know. Non PPR is so foreign to me now. That's the thing is like Swift doesn't get a lot of carries, so he's a PPR guy. We're definitely starting Goodwin. I'm afraid of people's Jones. In because of the weather and Mark Andrews, like I at least need Tyler Huntley to play. So definitely start Marquise Goodwin. Man, non PPR so out of my realm now. Uh, yeah. So DPJ. Check the weather. We'll be able to know that they play Saturday early. So if the weather is bad, then we'll probably bench DPJ. If the weather is good, start DPJ. And keep tabs. This is all about keeping tabs and, and looking at news and weather. I don't if if the third string quarterback is starting for the Ravens, I don't think he will, but he could because Lamar Jackson hasn't practiced yet at all. And Tyler Huntley questionable right now. If the third string QB is playing, we don't want to start Andrew. So that would just default us to Swift. So at least I kind of narrowed you down. But I'm a total cop out. I didn't even answer the question, but I helped a little bit. We have another Goddard or Muth. We're going with Muth, Friar Muth. Oh man, that's uh, that's sad. Oh Kareem Hunt, if Chubb plays or. Zach Moss. Let's go with Moss. <laughs> Any secret hacks out there? What do you got to be more specific, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Muth or Ingram? Let's go Friar Muth. Amari Cooper, Olave, Hollywood to pick one. You're looking at probably starting Amari Cooper. Chris Olave's hurt. You don't really want to start Hollywood. So go with Amari Cooper. Yeah, I'd rather start the Browns D instead of the Eagles. So there's one guy here. Dang, there's a lot of comments. I can't get through all these. Pollard, Ken Walker, or McKinnon? You got to start Ken Walker if he's playing. And we don't want to bench McKinnon. 
So assuming all three are healthy, it's going to be Ken Walker and McKinnon. And you have an excellent third choice in Pollard, who is just amazing. So, Yeah, I've had, um, what's it called? Black and tan. Yeah, I guess that's what it's, uh, or half and half. I think they call it a half and half, a dark beer and, and light beer. This picture looks cool, though. My beer didn't look that extreme. Uh, but I've had the half and half before. It's just this fit. This is a Friar Moth drink. Guinness and Blue Moon. I need to try. That's the half and half. I need to try that. I haven't drank beer in ages. I, I rarely drink now. It does look good. This is this is. I love dark beer. The right dark beer. Um, that's it with dark beer that you cannot drink too much. Like for me, I drink two glasses. It's so. I mean, it's so good. I'm like, that's it. Like I start feeling it already. Cause the dark, like the 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 light colored beer, the normal beer, like I pretty much can never like i can't i don't get drunk off that like and i can't keep i can't like i'm sure there's a point where i could get drunk but i'm not drinking more than six beers like that ain't happening whoever does that like probably you probably have a problem because that's a lot of liquid <laughs> that's just too much liquid like it's so much bloaty like that's so much liquid so like i'll never get drunk off that but hitting up with the dark beer i drink two like of the really extremely strong beers it starts hitting and then after that i mean i'm gonna get sick because that stuff is so strong and dark like oh man so just give me two max oh yeah ken walker's missing practice we know i know that i see you val i know that i posted that So he might not play, and that's why that guy has Tony Pollard ready to go. My fridge is empty, couch. How could you do this to me? Go, go get something. Do you have money? So use the money and put some stuff in the fridge. Or just get some Asian cuisine. Asian cuisine's excellent. There's all types of Asian cuisine. There's like cheap fast food Chinese. There's teriyaki chicken. And there's the classier stuff. We're talking sushi, poke bowls, fish tacos. I mean, you know. What is Did somebody get I'm getting some weird maybe I'm being I'm getting some weird texts. I don't know. It's just kind of weird that it's happening during hack while well, maybe I maybe I finally got hacked. Um god, this is taking forever. Uh, all right, this will be the last one. Then we'll hack. I don't know why Toast is putting these three emojis. Is he mad? Is he is he excited? Is it just to hype up the chat? Or is he mad? Did he miss playoffs? Is he mad because he just like get his mad face on and want to win his playoff matches? I don't know. Sutton, Palmer, Rashad White, Hollins, Deion Jackson. Let's start Rashad White. And Dion Jackson. Woo! All right, let's go. I like that answer. Bro, I forgot about your question. Like, I got today. I have uh, one million questions, so I have no idea what we're what we're even talking about. Uh, but I doubt you have a better option than Pittman. That's me. That's me being very uh, judgmental. Just, uh, just purely guessing. See, I already forgot what we we're talking about. Horror. Sorry. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. Yeah, I can't. I don't drink whiskey.
Christian Watson or Waddle? Let's do a tight end question. All right. Are you drunk right now? I know you got excited when you see the Friar Most drink up. Watson or Waddle? Watson. We're going to go with Jalen Waddle. Unless there's some kind of news. I was dealing with a minor injury, but I, I think we're past that. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything there. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's been fine for over a week. He's good. All right. We're going Jalen Waddle. All right, so we are going to hack CC. it seems like. There we go, right here. And we'll be answering more questions after that. All right, are you guys ready? Ready for what will probably be the last hack of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, the last hack. You guys ready? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Hack it. You ever done anything dangerous? That is dangerous. All right, guys, we are here. What happened to uh, your dad? He's still. Oh, he's still in it. He got a he got a bye week, right? So you're facing C D Lamb. All right. Okay, fifty fifty. All right, I like that. All right, it's gonna be close. Okay, Jacoby Myers, not a probably not a great start. And Joku, eh, I don't know about that start. Okay, these are some good players. McLaurin, kind of risky. I don't really like your opponent's team. Your team, I like that. I like that. I like that. DeAndre Swift, not great. Okay, I really like your squad. We got to do something about Burks and Swift, maybe. All right. You have Khalil Herbert on IR. Yeah, we probably don't need two kickers. I like having two defenses. That's fine. You definitely don't want two kickers. That's kind of a waste of space. Kareem Hunt, great. If Nick Chubb is out, we're definitely starting Hunt over DeAndre Swift. Traylon Burks is a good start if Tannehill is playing. If not, we want to bench him. Yeah, we're going to do, uh, what do we call that? Hack my, no, it's called, uh, I don't even remember the name of that. It's not called Hack My Dynasty, is it? Yeah, we're going to be doing that with Sue Shane. We're going to, I'm going to take a quick break, maybe like a two week break, and then we'll start doing a lot of, uh, I forget the name of it. What did we call it? Is anybody listening who remembers that on the podcast? What, oh, we got, we got Drew in the building. Drew, what do we call that segment? Rebuild my, hack my dynasty, hack my rebuild. I don't remember, but essentially we do like an in-depth dive of just one person on the podcast and help them 
with their dynasty team, give them in-depth advice on what direction to go and assess everything. Like each one takes like 20 to 40 minutes because – it's a lot, you know, dynasty is a lot. You got to assess what's going on now with the roster. Hack my dynasty. Okay. Yeah. You got to assess what's going on with the roster and you got to kind of go through different types of moves. Um, You know, do this. And if this doesn't work, do that and trade with this and trade with that, you know, give people other options. Man, somebody's really texting me. No, I like gold next week too, but we're not too worried about. We got to win. <laughs> you got to win this week to be able to use Robbie Gold next week. And you know what, Robbie Gold, I love him. Uh, and you know, I I, told, I talked about him on the waiver video, but you know, he's he's probably not like the best kicker next week. So, is he worth the roster space? Probably not. Like you have Siri, you have two guys I'm trying to replace right now. So. Yeah, there's no there's no way we're keeping Robbie Gold, bro. It's not happening. Sorry. It's just not. All right, let's see what we can do at kicker this week. Um, you have Graham Gano. He's really good. I have no gripe with him. I like suck up a little bit more. I like uh McPherson. I would rather go with suck up. And then I also like Dicker, but I guess there's a tiny chance that Dustin Hopkins comes back. Oh, Dicker's not available. Okay. Are you okay with me adding suck up? A little bit less accurate, but I love the opportunity. I think this is I think he's golden. I would I would I would start suck up this week. I need your permission though. While we're waiting on your permission, let's see what else we can do. You have great defense. Now Gano's great. Gano's great. I'm gonna go with what he wants. I think Gano and Suck Up are both great. He said, do it. And if it was my team, I would do it. All right, we made our first risky move. We added Ryan Suckup. And let's see if we can find a better flex player. That's what we're looking for. Slex, sexy, sexy, flexy, flexy, sexy. Someone's legit texting me right now. That doesn't that's got the wrong number. I'm this close to blocking them. This close. Don't tap don't tap don't tap me. 
All right. Okay, so it's just spam. I should have known. Uh, let's block this. Block this caller. There we go. I reported you as junk. I know it's one of you. I know it's one of you guys. You guys hacked me. I know it's one of you guys. You stupid rival hackers. You guys are so jealous. You haters. You'll never be as good of a hacker as me. Starting the Bucks D. Doesn't get much more sexier than that. I like it. I love it. Well, we got the Browns D, and your opponent is starting the Ravens D. I love the Browns D. Now, that's a good horde. Now, that's a real horde to have. You're starting Dalton Schultz. Okay, that's good. That will find something better than Schultz. Somebody really dropped Darren Waller, dang. And for running back, we have... Now, Michael... See, look, Michael Carter is great. If there's a small chance Donovan Knight is out or, you know, like, banged up, I guess. Even though it's minuscule, there's a chance. Definitely would rather have one of those guys over Robbie Gold. Uh, probably rather have Zach Moss. Yeah, I don't think we need Jawan Johnson. Yeah, I don't think we need Jawan Johnson, man. Your opponent at tight end has Injoku and Akonkwo. Michael Gallup. Yeah, we're not starting him. Hollywood Brown to risque. Dang, you couldn't get Goodwin. Dang. Your opponent has a. All right. Yeah, we don't really need Aaron Rodgers. You have Tua. All right, let's start adding. I know I know Goodwin is questionable. I know that. Everyone's questionable. You're questionable. All right, what are we ready for? All right, let me count the players I want to drop. Gold. Jawan Johnson, Algier. Yeah, I think Chiefs D week 17, that's gonna be tough to beat. So we'll keep we'll keep that. That's gonna be tough to beat. Yeah, that's the best defense. Love it, love it.
Well, I just like Patterson more than Algier. Let's add him. Plenty of tight ends on waivers, so I'm not really worried about that. And then let's cancel this Aaron Rodgers thing. I don't think we need this claim at all. Your opponent's quarterback is Dak. Yeah, he's going to roll with Dak, so we're good. Good on that end. And... Let's go ahead and add one more player. Zach Moss or James Cook. All right, we made all those moves. Now, if Tannehill is out, we want to start Zach Moss, I believe, over Patterson. All right, I guess we're going to risk it with Patterson. If Traylon Burks is out, start Patterson. If Zonovan Knight seems really banged up or out, we're going to start Michael Carter in the RB spot. Hopefully you're listening right now, CC. And then if Tannehill plays, we want to start Trey Lombergs. All right, so keep – squeeze the trigger gently. Keep it half squeeze. If anything happens – you're going to start Michael Carter. If Bam Knight is out, you're going to start Cordell Patterson. If Tannehill is out, all right, and try to start the players that play later in this spot, all right? We can just leave Tra Traylon Burks in there for now just to help you out, all right? But once you're all set, you want to have it. Uh, have Godwin here probably have the players playing latest in flex. Does that all make sense? Yes, yes, and definitely hunt if Chubb is out for sure. All right. Um, yes, hunt that's the most important one, actually. All right, we're done hacking this. All right, that was the last hack of the night. Now, I'm not sure what. King Jim wants or uh, he gave me his account. I don't know what this is, bro. I don't know what platform you, you want. Oh, so he wants me to hack him. And I think this is NFL platform. I don't know. What platform are you on? Yahoo. Okay, he's on Yahoo. All right, well, we'll see if this works. Last hack. Last hack of the night, and then I'll hop on and answer some questions. All right. I don't know. I don't know if this hack's going to work or not, but let's give it a shot. You ever done anything dangerous? That is dangerous. Done anything?
anything dangerous? That is dangerous. Okay, all right. Now I need you did the first step. Check your phone to see your account key code. Email me your key code. I don't think this is going to be the key. I think it's going to be a new key code. I think you email me a key. This should be a new e key code. Email me new key code. Sent. Okay. Waiting on the email. All right. We got an email. I'm earning this hack. All right. Oh my God. I think we're in. I think we're in. We're in. All right, buddy. Let us know what we are looking at. Is this a 10 team league, 12 team league? Let us know. Coming for the crown. Is this full PPR? Let the people know what we're looking at. Okay, no IR spots in this league. All right. There goes my go-to move, my cheat move. Nick Folk is solid. Niners D is amazing. At quarterback, we got Jared Goff. Slightly like him better than Trevor Lawrence. 12-team full PPR. Got it. Redraft, I assume. At tight end, we got George Kittles. Let's go. Um, oh, maybe I missed when you sent this to me. I didn't see right. I thought this was a tight end spot. Mm, I don't want to start a tight end in, in flex. No. I don't want that. Okay, let's put Amari Cooper there. Okay, let's see if we can replace Khalil Herbert. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Take a quick look at your opponent. Jalen Hurts. Okay, so we know one weakness. Uh, other than that, his team looks pretty good. Zonovan Knight, questionable. He's starting Fryermouth over Mark Andrews. Okay. He's got a pretty good team. He's just giving you a huge advantage because he's got Jalen Hurd starting. All right. There's still some really good QBs. I would have picked up, you know, all the good QBs like Minshew and Rodgers. And uh, there's so many quarterbacks. They're all around the same. Like Rodgers and Minshew and then even Purdy. They're all fairly decent. Hopefully we can find a better flex for you. George Pickens, let's go. George Pickens? Heck yeah. I'm down to start George Pickens. Big time. All right. We just found a guy. 
Steelers. All right. I'm trying to look at the weather. Not horrible. Pretty good compared to what's going on this week. So George Pickens, Marquise Goodwin, let's go. All right, we got some great options. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, two good wide receivers I'm going to probably pick up. Cam Akers against Denver, meh, not great. Michael Carter, a little bit of upside if Knight is out. Okay. Tight end, Greg Dolchich. That's a decent ad. Kicker. Nobody crazy good. At defense, you're starting Niners. Okay, we don't need that. All right, my my friend, let's make some ads here. So the first thing I'm going to do is list off all the players I'm going to drop because I know I got two wide receivers I want to add, and there's one or two okay running backs. Let's see how many players can we drop. All right, I'm going to just drop Jordan Mason because, look, it's only one more week. Like, I love it, but – uh. It's better when you got a guy like Jordan Mason. Okay, Christian McCaffrey has to play uh, six, seven games straight without getting hurt. Now he just has to play one, literally one game without getting hurt, and Jordan Mason's worthless. So Jordan Mason, decent drop. Juwan Johnson, we can start him next week, but, I mean, I don't really care. I'll drop him. I'll drop Jordan Mason. Uh, so that's one, two. Evan Ingram's a tough drop. We could drop him and be risky. I just I don't want to drop T Law. I know that. All right, so that's one, two. We might drop Chickaconquo. Oof, maybe drop Dotson actually. Dotson's a bench this week. Yeah, let's drop Dotson. All right, we got three players to drop. Because I, I don't want to start Khalil Herbert. I don't want to start. I want to I want a better start than Cooper. All right, one at a time. All right, guys. So we are going to add the guy I want to start for sure, Marquise Goodwin. Uh, I'm also going to want to start Pickens, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got Traylon Burks, too. Yeah, we're going to need two wide receivers if Tannehill's out. So let's go ahead and just add these two guys. So let's add Goodwin. Let's go ahead and drop Jordan Mason. Okay. Let's add Pickens. Well, I see Tyler Boyd's available, too. Okay. Let's drop Jawan Johnson. Okay. So if Tannehill plays, start Traylon Burks. If not, then you're going to swap him out with Pickens. We're starting Goodwin. If Goodwin is active and playing, we are starting Goodwin. So let's play him. Um, we do not want to start Khalil Herbert. Amari Cooper is less than ideal. So, uh, yeah, if, if Tannehill's playing, we're starting Trey Lombergs. Let's 
Zay Jones in for now. Okay. And do we have a better start over... Dang, I was zoned out. I forgot I'm I forgot I'm live almost. Do we have a better start over Khalil Herbert? Who is he? Stop saying he. Man, can this guy stop saying he? <laughs> he sent me an email that said the same thing. And I told him, I don't know who you're talking about, bro. Stop saying he, please. He said in emails that I thought he was out for this season. Who's he? Who's he? He's not, everybody knows God. Everybody knows Goodwin. He's not a, he's not a secret, bro. So all the DFS players are going to flock to him. Um Oh, a punt play isn't cheap. Yeah, he's a great cheap play. He will be chalky though. It'll be cheap. Who? Okay, so uh, King Jim. Who is he? Let me know who that is. All right, we're trying to replace Khalil Herbert. No Cam Akers. Uh, be Mike or Carter. Yeah, if you're down to eat the chalk, he's great. Yeah, he's he's awesome. You know who I really like this week is Noah Fant from my waiver video. I really like Noah Fant. I think that's a little bit more of a sleeper than Marquise Goodwin. That's the one all the noobs will figure out Marquise Goodwin. It's second level, so it's not like you have to be a genius to figure out Noah Fant, but a little bit riskier, a little bit less known, second level of thinking, right? Where people say there's levels to this ish. This is level two. Marquise Goodwin is level one, level one step thinking. Noah Fant is level two critical thinking. Man, it's between the Bucks and the Niners. Uh, most people don't have this luxury, my friend. I, uh, I, I guess roll with the Niners, D, because we've been rolling with the Niners. Niners and Bucks are both elite. Yeah, yeah, just go Niners, D. I guess Ni Niners and Bucks are both probably going to be in my top three, at least top. Like they're so good. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. But Niners D's been so consistent, so reliable. May just want to roll with them another week. All right. Uh, I think we're going to pick up Michael Carter because he has that type of upside. Michael Carter. Yeah, you're gonna have to take some risks here, dude. So we may have to, you know, let's just drop Jahan Dotson actually. Yeah, I mean, you had four tight ends. At least we dropped one of them. All right, so you're definitely starting Michael Carter if, um, if Zonovan Knight's out. Zonovan Knight's probably gonna play. You can also go and add another running back. We really don't want to start Khalil Herbert, dude. Like, try not to start Khalil Herbert. You can drop if you're not going to start Michael Carter. You can drop him, and you can go with James Cook. Not a bad start. Cam Akers too too little. I don't like his upside. All right, but man, this one, this one really wore me up. The last two, man, those are these are some pretty intense hacks. Wow, that took a lot of brain power. All right, so I hope this. I'm I'm tapping out. I cannot hack anymore. That was 
that was tough. Oh, Tannehill? No, I didn't. Did did I miss that? Oh, it's not for sure. Ryan Tannehill ankle is very likely done for the season. He added that Tannehill may need to undergo surgery on his ankle. Tannehill re-aggravated a previous ankle injury in week 15. He only missed a few snaps because of the issue, but was reported to be unlikely to play in week 16 shortly after the game. Injury already cost Tannehill two games earlier in the season. He never fully recovered from it. Limited factor stress, even after he had been the team that Tannehill seasons in jeopardy, but all signs point to Malik Wills taking over under center for the final three games of the year. Okay, so I don't think this is big news. So he's probably done for the year, but he hasn't fully been ruled out. Okay, well, it's looking I, – I think I already put this guy on your bench anyway, so we're expecting Tannehill to at least not play this game. I'm going to go to Raul's league because I like Sleeper the best. Uh, he's technically questionable, but, yeah, it's we can say, like, there's a – like, he's almost surely out. Okay, well, that's good you brought that up. It's not a for sure thing, but it's looking like 95% chance he's out this week and – Probably done for the year as well. Should I go Trevor Lawrence or Carr this week for the championship? I would go with Trevor Lawrence because I don't want to start Carr. All right, I'll answer a few more questions before I take off. Man, thank you so much for the donations from everybody. Really appreciate it, uh, especially King Jim with the $50 dono. That was incredible. Uh, but hopefully that hack helped you out. Oh, yeah, we hacked uh, King Jim. King mm -hmm. Jim with the $50. Thank you. I don't know who you have to start. Definitely start Montgomery. Um, I think you may want to start Fournette as well. Montgomery and Fournette. Oh, you're welcome, man. He's been kept saying he's out. He's out. He's out. Like dri that drives me crazy. It's not like a pet. I don't, I don't like the pet, the word pet peeve. It's because it's not a pet peeve. It just drives me like, I just want to know. It just drives me nuts when people are like, should I start Williams or Jones? I'm like, dude, I don't know those guys. Browns D or Broncos D. I think we're going to go with the Browns D and then keep tabs on the weather. If the weather gets better, miraculously, go with the Broncos D. If the weather stays the same or gets worse, we're talking about 27 plus mile an hour winds, a bit of snow, go with Browns D. Uh, especially if Olave is out. Saints got a ton of injuries. So this is what you're going to do. You want to start the Browns D. And then Saturday morning, you're gonna look at all look at all the injury reports and the weather and stuff. And I'm telling you, it's probably gonna be looking bad for the Saints and gonna be looking bad for the weather. Roll with the Browns D. If the Saints get healthy miraculously and the wind is like way less than if it's like 60 miles an hour, all of a sudden it's way less, then you can roll with the Broncos D. You ain't got no choice, bud. What do you want to start, Zach Moss? <laughs> Killer Hulbert is probably coming back this week. Uh, here's a good chance he is relevant. We're not taking that chance. So we're trying not to start Khalil Herbert this week, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, unless you're in a super deep league, try not to start Khalil Herbert. We don't want to risk it. So this is week 16 of fantasy football. We do not play 
the same as if it were week four, week five, or even week nine. This is different. It's week 16. This is the big boys. This is the this is the end, man. This is do or die. We need a bit of upside. We need we need reliability. We need real players to go out there and battle and win the war. We got to go out there. And I'm not starting Khalil Herbert his first game back. Like I'm not. There's a there's a chance he he balls out. There's a chance he is relevant for sure. It's just if I'm in a 12 team league or or sh more shallower than that, I'm trying not to start him. I can't rely on him. Brian Robinson, Thielen, DPJ, PPR star. I want to start Adam Thielen. Which three should I start? Standard scoring. Saquon, start Saquon. Uh, Najee, start him. And then um, we're going to likely start Zonovan Knight if he's playing. So and it's a good thing. So you're starting Saquon, you're starting Najee, okay? And then your third guy, start Bam Knight if he's fully healthy. He plays tomorrow night, which is great. If he's not, then you got B-Rob as a backup. Boom. What's up, my friend? What's going on? I mean, it's kind of the same thing. You want to try to start Bam Knight if he's healthy. Um, if not, I mean, both those options suck. Just do whatever. <laughs> I mean, you starting Mark Andrews in a non PPR league and in your flex, but you're already like, you know, you're throwing up a prayer, hoping something crazy happens. Browns and Denver too. Okay, yeah, no, and it's great. You know what? They're probably going to be both ranked uh, in my top five, at least top six, and both ranked next to each other. Uh, along with the Titans D I think, I think you can't really go wrong, but uh, I did want to, and I've been answering this Browns D question in detail several times already just today. And um, you know, it's very important. It's an important week. So I don't mind going into detail every week. We're picking the Browns D because the saints are poopy. The saints are a mess, but mainly the weather 30 mile an hour winds and snow. That's insane. Weather you cannot throw the ball more than like 10, 15 yards when the winds are 30 miles an hour, like 30 miles an hour. That's insane. And then if you also have snow on top of that, dude, 30 miles, that's the most windiest. That's the windiest game so far this year. I think by far, I never seen that this year. That's pretty rare. You get 30 or close to 30 right now. Some is saying 27, 28 could be 29 mile an hour winds. Uh, go with Gardner Minshew and a, you got that stack, which I don't, I don't prescribe to the stack, um, uh, strategy. Cause it's not a real strategy. I also don't hate the stack either. I just think it's whatever, uh, but it's going to be more fun watching the game. I'll tell you that I like Minshew more than Purdy. So you're starting Minshew, not because of the stack, but you do have the stack. So it's going to be a little bit more fun watching the game. Hoping AJ Brown catches a big one. Latavius, Mostert, McLaurin, Christian Kirk, or Mike Williams. Um, as of right now, I'm not sure with Latavius Murray's status. You definitely want to start Mostert if Jeff Wilson is out, and only if Jeff Wilson is out. Um So I'm going to kind of rank this for you. So I'd go number one, Mostert, if Jeff Wilson is out. If Jeff Wilson is playing, then I'd go Mike Williams. And then we have Latavius Murray kind of close in that mix. So it's between Mostert and Mike Williams, depending on Jeff Wilson, if Jeff Wilson is playing. Ravens D or Cleveland D. Um. I think I might have to switch. To, I, I think I'm just going to go Ravens D, but keep tabs on the weather, man. Uh, Browns D could be The weather could be crazy. I think Ravens D is more trustworthy, though. No, we have switched it up. We're going Bucks defense today. Uh, Bucks D's uh, top three defense, along with the Niners and Bills, more than likely. I want to come out with our rankings tomorrow. We're going Bucks D. 
now that we confirmed that Mick Sorley is playing a few hours ago, we are rolling with the Tampa Bay defense over the Browns D. Tampa Bay D all the way. Kittle or Mo. Let's not sit Kittle. Let's go with Kittle. Latavius or Swift. Um, I don't know what's up with the Broncos running backs and Latavius right now. I just don't know. And because of that, I'm going to say Swift. Uh, I don't know about the playoffs picture enough. I'm assuming if the Niners win out, there's still three games. I'm assuming that it's going to matter a lot. Uh, can't they get a bye week? I don't think there's going to be any resting happening yet. Now, they did clinch the division, and that means they clinched a home game. Let me try to bring up. Uh, I never really studied the playoffs too, like a lot extensively. I don't study it extensively. I'm not saying I shouldn't. I probably should. Um, so I'm just assuming that the Niners could get a more important seed. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Don't they want to get a bye week here? Is that right? Somebody help me out. The Niners clinched the division. They're number three in the NFC. I'm pretty sure there's still something to play for, something significant. And if there's something significant to play for, I don't see that happening. Not this week, at least. That might change next week. And you know what? Week 15, sorry, week 18, that's why we don't play week 18 because scenarios like that often come up. Week 17, they rarely come up. And week 16, they, they never really come up. Yeah, I doubt they're going to be... If you can if you can get ahead of the Vikings, I think they're playing for something. And somebody please help me help me out. This is like the one time I need your guys' help with the playoff picture. Nobody's saying anything. My God. Garrett Wilson or AJ Brown. Go with AJ Brown. Well, I mean, I was trying to get some feedback from you guys. McKinnon or Zeke, go with McKinnon. Just go with Gardner Minshew. That was easy. Just like the guy the guy said. I saw someone answered your question. Uh, the Niners. Do the Niners have something significant to play for? Uh, Purdy is going to be okay. He's not going to be great. He's going to be okay. Probably a low, low-end wide uh, QB1, sorry. I might have him ranked like QB 12 or QB 10 or something. Which goes to say, like, is QB, like, he's really good in real life and the Niners don't have to do much. It's going to be a low scoring game. Niners going to play that killer defense. He's not going to need to do much. He's not going to need to light up, light up the stats. Um, but he's still going to play well. Will Purdy's stat. I don't know what that means. Start. Yeah, dude. Yes. I don't know. Whatever. So the question is, do the Niners have something to play for? And my guess is yes. I, I'd assume they, they're playing for a bye week, right? Do the Niners have something significant to play for? I think they do. So I don't know all the scenarios. If somebody could help me out, um, I guess we're going to end it there anyway. Yes, I like Gardner Minshew more than Brock Purdy. Quarterback rankings come out tomorrow. 
Yes, they do. Currently the three seed, one game back, a two seed. So two, so a top two seed gets a bye week. Is that how it works? And that's my guess. See, I don't know. That's just my guess. So yeah, I mean they're dude, that means they're gonna be they're gonna keep playing. So like yeah, that means they're gonna keep playing. So this week and next week, they're more likely gonna be playing. So week 18 would be that rest week we're talking about. I don't know the question, bro. What do you talk? What this is what we're talking about right now. We're talking about resting. This is the this is the reason why we're talking about Jordan Mason. Oh God. Okay. You guys are just like it's just this you guys are just on lag. I think this program lags a lot. Yeah, yeah. So they're not resting. They're not going to be resting CMC this week. They're probably not resting him next week. And I kind of already knew this stuff. I just wanted to double check because I keep up with playoffs, not too much. And the main reason I keep up with playoffs is for fantasy football purposes. So like the playoff picture, like what's going to happen, all these this is and that's and this and that, you know. Um, yeah, so Jordan, uh, so CMC, I don't think he's going to be rested this week at all. Probably not going to be rested next week. Week 18, maybe. This team is going to try to go get a top two seed. Tua or Fields? Um, I would go with Tua. Yeah, I would go with Tua. I'm probably going to rank Justin Fields as my QB5 this week just so you know tomorrow my rankings do come out all right guys i'm gonna end it there uh tomorrow we're doing the rankings video on this channel and then after that after thursday night football we will go live on our second youtube channel so make sure you subscribe to this one subscribe to our second youtube channel it's called fantasy couch podcast going to be a fun show on that channel as well appreciate all you guys go get that w and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace